Yeah, uh, welcome uh, to my mind and to my room. Uh, somebody came up to me the other day and said uh, he had seen some of my IMDB stuff or YouTube or Vimeo or any other thing that I can talk about me and said, you know, you're very funny. And I said, uh, thank you. Um, no, I, I really appreciate that because in New York, I, I did all sorts of funny things. I worked with George Abbott, very famous Broadway director and screen director of comedy and musicals. And uh, anyway, uh, I, anything I can do to plug myself, you know, subtly. I like to be subtle. Anyway, he said, uh, you're very funny. I said, thank you. Um, I uh, am not known out here in La La Land for being that funny. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm a, I'm a fucking riot. I am a laugh a minute. And uh, I've, always, I've always thought about coming out of the closet. I want to make the closet balsa wood to make it easier for my escape. But this is part of my escape. And you're very lucky to have me doing my shtick, you know, as opposed to the authoritarians, which I love doing the authoritarians. Uh, it's S and M, you know. I don't mind being the S or the M. I, I like the little M's, uh, the nerds, the little uh, um, hapless uh, unfortunates of life. Uh, which is ironic. I think I do the authoritarians because I was bullied as a kid, uh, not by everybody, uh, but in grade school. Uh, there's an old story that I told my friends, and you're not my friends. You're, I don't know who you are, but I, this is a bad Woody Allen. But this is what happened uh, in the third grade. Uh, uh, I said to this kid who had bullied me, um, I said, look, I, this is the beginning of the third, I think the third grade or fourth. I, I said, look, things have changed. He said, he said, what do you mean? He said, things have changed. I, I, this summer I took boxing le and before I could say lessons, he cold cocked me. And, uh, that I think is very funny and very sad. Uh, but I, as Mr. Share, I wanted to share. I want to share, share, share. I'm not a self-obsessed, normal mofo actor. I'm so much more and so much less. But um, I'm glad that we're all like cozy wozy here. I feel very cozy with everybody right now. Uh, maybe because I control it because it's... It's not my camera, but it's my friend's camera, Rick, Rick Eisenstein, who is my friend. And, and he and I have do riffs, rants, and ruminations together. Uh, but um, why am I going on and on to say, Larry David, eat your heart out? No, I say, Larry David, I want you to realize that I am not the lady in waiting, I am the prince in waiting. You're older than me. You're taller than me. I am you plus more and not. I should be on your show. I should have improvised up the wing wang with you. But why haven't I? Why? Now, I don't want to, I don't want to cast aspersions. Figure it out. Why haven't I had the opportunity to get in front of you? Think of that. Why haven't I had the opportunity to get in front of you? No more need be said. Whoever this applies to, I say peace, love, but... Here is the prince in waiting, not having had the opportunity 
to get in front of Larry. Now, let alone Larry, what about Harry? What about Barry Levinson? Um, what about Joe Schmo? What about Coppola? What about Scorsese? What about, I have been very fortunate to work with the people I have worked with. And the reason I've worked with them is because either my reputation preceded me as a beautiful actor, not a beautiful human being, but a beautiful actor, or somebody gave me a shot. Somebody was a fan. And about fans, we all have fans and we all do not have fans. I am the same way with people, so I understand how people work. But the more fans you have as an actor, the more opportunities you get. Fans can be, I don't want to say, I'm being very generalized, aren't I? But you're smart. You can figure it out. The more fans you have, the more opportunities you have. And the thing is, I want to give also the respect to the human race that I'm not perfect, so why should I think everyone else is? I'm not magnanimous, why should I think everyone else is magnanimous? But like I said, I appreciate anything I've gotten, the opportunity to do. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I probably would uh, be uh, even further along if I had gotten more opportunities. Now, maybe that's because someone uh, likes me, someone doesn't for some whatever reason. You know, it's a very interesting business, but it probably is the same in the insurance business, whatever. So let's, let's concentrate on the good. But now we've concentrated on the good, let's not. Oh, <laughs> so funny. Uh, th that brings me to the Academy, the Academy of Motion Pictures. Now, I'm not a member, but I'm not doing sour grapes. I'm just talking. The late Scott Wilson was a friend of mine. The late Martin Landau was a friend of mine because I'm also a member of the Actors Studio. That's where I learned to be funny. No, that's not, that's not true. I learned to be funny from me, from me, from my childhood, from life, the way it's thrown all these obstacles in me and I've, I've battled back and I've, uh, I've done everything I could. Battling, schmattling, rattling, prattling. Anyway, Scott Wilson and Martin Landau sponsored me to become a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Science. Uh, they did not accept me. Um, to this day, I don't I don't hate them. I don't dislike them. I feel I should be a member. I feel why not. But life, I want to concentrate on the good, on the love. And I do. Whatever I've said here is part of my thoughts. Riffs, rants, ruminations. And I'm glad I told you what I think. And may the chips fall where they may. If you're listening, Larry, I would love to have a cup of coffee or a donut or a hoagie or sushi or a cup of tea. Um, but if I don't ever meet you, if I don't ever work with you, um, you know, I will still believe 
that I could have and should have, and I will also believe that I am funny. Pathetically, perhaps. But funny, oh, funny, oh. Let me say that again. Funny, oh, funny, oh. And whoa, whoa, whoa. And thank God for the digital age because, you know, in the old time, the tape would have run out. Now, I'm aware that, there, that all good things have to come to an end. So, you know what? Um, I did before this the to be or not to be speech. I think talking of being a character actor and the dichotomy, this would be in great juxtaposition to follow this up with a black screen, of course, the to be or not to be speech. And then at the very end, I won't have a third thing, but in your mind, just think that I'm going, bye-bye, I love you, I love you, bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye bye, bye bye. Happy trails to you until we meet again, Roy and Dale and Jean Autry too. But my favorite man, because we all have these ideas of men, uh, take nothing away from Gary Cooper. That was a man. But my favorite cowboy was Joel McRae. There was something about Joel McRae. He was so solid, so trustworthy. Why am I telling you this? I don't know. Why did I tell you any of this? I don't know. But I'm glad I had the opportunity. And I hope that you look at the rest of my little riffs, rants, and ruminations. But let me not just say my, our, because Rick Eisenstein is part of this. And he and I may uh, work, produce, together with one other person, a short film that I wrote and I want to be in a comedy called The Understudy. Remember that, The Understudy. And with that, I say, I don't want to say goodbye. I'm very bad at saying goodbye. I don't like saying goodbye to anybody. Uh, I certainly didn't like saying goodbye to my father when I was 30, or my mother, who I think I was, uh, well, today is 2022. She died in 2017. That's five years ago. Okay. I certainly didn't like saying goodbye to her. I didn't like saying goodbye to Erwin Keyes, my dear friend, of Alessio Rosales. Jim Sheeland, Larry Stinson, and the list goes on. Jack Kaler, good friend of mine, wonderful actor. Erwin, you were too. I know you're up there and you're listening about your credit. Uh, so I feel like, you know, there's, there's a hook that wants me to uh, understand that someone somewhere is going, enough, <laughs> please, enough. I don't even know how many minutes this is, but I think you deserved every mofo minute, and I enjoyed it. It's like taking a, <laughs> well, I won't say that. Uh, let's just say a bath. I mean, I could, it, could have been, it could have been worse, right? I could have taken a you-know-what, but uh, I'm not going to say it because I have some class. Uh, which a lot of people don't. And a lot of people think they have class, but they really, really don't. Um, 
And it's not a matter of education, is it? It's just a matter of, I don't know, God's gift. You know, some people were gifted with class or somehow learned. So that's all I got to say, except uh, Larry, Larry. <laughs> um, that's it. It, 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 you know, whether that works out or not. So good night, goodbye, good morning. Um, have a cup of coffee, have a vodka, have some wine, have nothing, but sleep well. And I hope your love life is good. And I hope you love life because whether you love life or not, it's going to end. Yes, and that's a whole other story. God bless you.